Hey everyone, Anthony Morganti here. Is your Lightroom burdened with a lot of stuff you don't use anymore? I'm talking about unused presets, profiles, plugins, things like that. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to clean all of that up. Let's jump right into it and talk about deleting presets and profiles. First thing you should know is that you'll only be able to delete presets and profiles that you created or added to Lightroom. You will not be able to delete any presets or profiles that were native to Lightroom. So over on the left hand panel I have some presets that I installed into Lightroom. They're in groups. You could see there's beaches, black and white, experimental, and so on. I could delete an entire group of presets by right clicking on that group and going down to delete group. When you do that, you'll get this warning dialog telling you that deleting a preset group is not undoable. Are you sure you want to delete this preset group? And if you're sure, click delete and you'll click delete that entire group. Now, if you want to delete an individual preset, just similarly right click right on that individual preset and go down to delete and you could do that as well. Now the same thing applies for profiles. If we go over to the basic tab and I open up the profile browser, again you'll only be able to delete profiles that you installed or created yourself. So I'll go to these Morganti landscape profiles. If I right click on that group I could delete that entire profile group or I could roll it open and I could delete any of the individual profiles by again right clicking on those individual profiles and going to delete profile. Now that's fine and good but what if you have a lot that you need to delete? You could delete these in bulk. To do that what you need to do is go to Lightroom preferences. On a Mac Lightroom preferences is under the Lightroom classic menu. On a PC it's under the edit menu. Once you open preferences go to the second tab from the left presets and go to show Lightroom develop presets. And when you do that, if you have a Mac, a Finder window will open. If you have a Windows computer, a Window Explorer window or a File Explorer window will open. And when you do that, you'll be open to a folder and it's going to highlight settings. You do not want to go into settings. What you want to do is go into imported settings. And from there, you could see there are those landscape profiles that I installed into my Lightroom and those Morganti Lightroom presets as well. Um, if I roll them open you can see all the individual presets are here and similarly for the profiles if I roll that open all the individual profiles are there. I could just drag these to the trash then what would happen I need to close Lightroom and reopen it for the changes to show. So I could just drag bulk folders of presets and profiles this way which is a lot faster than doing them individually. All right, that is presets and profiles. What about that edit in menu? What I'm talking about is if you right click on an image and you go down to edit in, you can see that there's all these edit in options. You can see I have quite a few there. What if you wanted to delete some of those? And also I should add that the edit in is also on, um, where is it? It's under photo edit in. It's there as well. So what if you want to delete some of these? Well you could do these individually. Again you'll need to go to Lightroom Preferences. When you open up Lightroom Preferences what you need to do is go to External Editing and go down here to Additional External Editor and then just find the one in this list that you want to delete. Let's pretend I wanted to delete Define 2. So I'll go to that. Then once it's active showing in this drop down then click that drop down again and go down to delete preset to find two. It's as easy as it is so you could do them individually here. Now again what if you wanted to do these a little more in bulk you wanted to delete a bunch of them. Well to do that we need to again go to Lightroom preferences and go to that second tab from the left the presets tab and remember before we clicked on this first button show Lightroom develop presets. Now instead click right here show of all other Lightroom presets. 
click there. When you do that, it will highlight the Lightroom folder. Go inside of that folder. Once you're inside of that folder, find the, um, the folder External Editor Presets. Click on that and you can see they're all right here. So if I wanted to delete all of them, I could just highlight all of them, drag them to the trash, then close Lightroom and reopen Lightroom for the changes to take effect. So I could do them in bulk there. So that's how you clean up your edit in menu. Now finally, I'm gonna go over to library module. And the last thing I'm gonna show you is let's just say uh, you go down to library and down to plugin extras. You see I have these things, transfer to Luminar 4, transfer to Luminar AI, and stuff. Sometimes a lot of stuff gets in here you don't use anymore, and you may want to delete some of this. To do that, you need to go to the Plugin Manager. That is under the File menu, and it's down here to Plugin Manager. When you do, you'll see on the left-hand side, there's all these different things you could delete. Some of them are on other menus as well, not just that first that menu I showed you. But the reason why I showed you that menu is because I do have two things I never use that I'd like to delete. One is Show Focus Points. That is a plugin that would show if you have a Canon or a Sony, or no, a Canon or a Nikon camera, and I think it works on one or two Sony cameras. It will show you the focus points that you used when you captured the image. Unfortunately, they haven't updated this plugin in like five or six years. So it doesn't work with any of my newer Nikon cameras. And if you had Canon, it wouldn't work with your newer Canon cameras. If you have any other model, it's worthless. It doesn't work. So uh, let's say I want to delete it. I could just click Remove. And what it will do is it will remove it from Lightroom, but it will keep it on my hard drive. What if I want to remove it from the hard drive? Well, what you do is click on it, Show Focus Points, and click on Show in Finder. And when you do that, it's right there, Show Focus Points. Now, let me close that for a minute. There's another one here I don't use. This, uh, I can't pronounce this. Uh, it's uh, Teak Kesselchen. Um, I did a video on this. This is a plugin that helps you search for duplicates in your Lightroom library. Um, technically, it's probably something you only need to do once, and then you probably won't have to do it again as long as you're uh, vigilant when you import images into your Lightroom library that you're not importing duplicates anymore. So this is another one I'd like to remove. Again, I could click the Remove button. It'll remove it from Lightroom, but it will keep that plugin on the hard drive. It doesn't take up a lot of space, but let's say I want to make sure that it's not on my hard drive at all anymore. Again, click Show in Finder. There it is right there, the Teak Kesselchen plugin. And also I had that Focus Points one as well, right? So I'm going to uh, highlight that one as well. I don't want these. I don't use those anymore, so I'll drag them to the trash. So they're in the trash. Um, you deleted a Focus Points plugin from your Dropbox. So that's in my drop. I had it in my Dropbox folder. So that has, you won't get that warning unless you have it in your Dropbox folder. So I got rid of them, but you see they're still there. That's because I would have to uh, close and reopen Lightroom, or now I could just click remove and the show Focus Points there. So now they're gone and they're gone forever now. They won't ever show up again. So that's how you could clean up some things in Lightroom. And, you know, I'm going to go through a Lightroom and see if there's other things that need to be cleaned up. If anyone has any suggestions, let me know in the comments below. And then I'll do a future video and we'll talk about cleaning up other things in Lightroom. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.